Hey, how's it going? This is Mr. Farrow. Uh, I'm your physics teacher. So the lab we're going to go through today is the car ramp velocity lab. Okay, you should be able to find it in the uh, folder for September 6th. All right. Uh, so there's a closer look at it. Okay, uh, we got a table on the back. We're going to be filling that out during the course of this experiment. And let's go ahead and get it started. So in this lab, it says that you're going to roll a car down a ramp, all right, and calculate its speed by measuring the car's displacement, right, how far it travels, divided by the time it takes to travel that distance or that displacement. So the materials we're going to use are books. Uh, we've got a ramp here for the car. We've got our little car here. Uh, we've got a ruler, some masking tape, and uh, your phone should suffice as a timer, okay? So in our procedure, first thing we want to do is stack one of our books up on the table, all right? Then we're going to lean the ramp against the book. Now, I like to lift up the flap of the book. Stick it right there, okay? So now it won't wiggle around. Now that we have this done, we're gonna measure 40 centimeters or 0.4, 0 0.4 meters from the base of the ramp. So I have my ruler here, I'm gonna put it in centimeters, all right? Now this ruler is only 30 centimeters long, so I'm gonna have to measure and mark 30 centimeters, and now I'm gonna measure 10 more. All right, so I'm gonna mark that as well all right now i'm going to take my masking tape all right rip off a little piece and mark that on the table all right so now i know where the four, where 40 centimeters is or where 0 0.4 meters away from my ramp is okay so again we measure that from the base of the ramp to the tape so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our car and roll it down the ramp okay now when it touches the table we're going to start our timer and when it reaches the blue tape. So when it touches the table here, we start our timer. When it reaches the blue tape, we're going to stop our timer. And that's what we record in the table. But first, let's go ahead and measure the height of the book because that is one thing that we are asked to do in our table. So we measure the book to be about three centimeters high. We'll go ahead and write that down. All right. And our displacement we already measure is 40 centimeters, but we'll record it as 0 0.4 meters. Okay, so 0 0.4 meters, we'll put that in the table. And now uh, let's go ahead and time how long it takes. All right, so start and stop. Okay, nice. So I'm not using a timer in this experiment. Instead, I'm using the values produced by a student uh, who did this experiment earlier. All right, so our time, let's say, was 0 0.42 seconds. All right, now if you're doing this experiment on your own at home, absolutely record your times for this experiment. All right, the next step is that we're gonna remove that ramp and add a book, okay? Now we're gonna place that ramp back. All right, so now we're gonna be a little higher, so we're gonna go ahead and measure that in centimeters. And that is gonna be about 6.5 centimeters for me. All right, again, the displacement is still 0 0.4 meters, 40 centimeters. So let's go ahead and write 0 0.4 meters. All right, and let's go ahead and time our car again. Start, stop, okay. So the next time that we have uh, on my end is 0 0.25 seconds. So I'm gonna record that in my table as well. So now we have two recorded values for our time in our table. And now we're just gonna add one more book. So I'm gonna remove the ramp, add a book, place the ramp back. All right, and measure the height. So for this last height, it looks to me like 10.4 centimeters, okay? Again, our displacement is the same, 40 centimeters or 0 0.4 meters. Okay, now let's roll our car down the ramp. And we go, stop. Okay, so from that run, 
I have 0 0.17 seconds, okay? So now I have my table filled out, okay? Uh, normally I'll put away my lab, but now we're just gonna head over to the whiteboard so that we can uh, go ahead and do some calculations, all right? All right, so first we want to just look at our table again. All right, so we have our book height. We've measured that. We have the displacement that our car was traveling, 40 centimeters every time. We recorded it as 0 0.4 meters. Same thing, just different units. All right, a meter is a larger unit, so it's going to be a smaller uh, number here. Now time, we record it back for each trial. Now let's go ahead, we're going to use these in order to calculate our velocity. And let's, let's take a look at how. So if you recall, velocity is displacement divided by time. Displacement over time, that's represented as delta x, the change in x position, which is displacement over the change in time. All right, so we're going to use this equation with the numbers, the measurements in our data table to calculate the velocity of the car um, at each height of books. Okay, so first we're going to plug in our displacement, 0 0.4 meters, divided by our first time when we only had one book on the table, 0 0.42 seconds, and that's going to give us 0 0.95 meters per second. Okay, we're gonna do the same for when we had two books on the table. Again, the displacement is the same, 0 0.4 meters. Our time is here. And when we divide those, we get 1.6 meters per second, okay? Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do our uh, final velocity. Again, 0 0.4 meters is the displacement, 0 0.17 seconds is the time. When we divide those, we get 2.35 meters per second, okay? Uh, make sure to keep your units in your answer, so meters per second, we want to keep that. All right, now we're going to take this information and put it in another table where we compare the book heights to the velocity. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here we have another table that compares the increasing book heights with our resulting velocities. Now, the trend that you may notice as you look at this is as our book height got higher, as our ramp, the start of our ramp rose higher and higher, the velocity of the car as it traveled down the ramp increased more and more. So as you can see here, it's just under one meter per second to start with. Then it increases to about one and a half meters per second. And then when we added another book, it rose a lot to 2.35 meters per second, all right? So this is the process we wanna go through uh, for this uh, first experiment. This data table really helps us see that connection between increasing the height of the ramp by adding a book to the stack and how that affects our car's velocity.